What is up guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the sneakers that I caught for 2020. And I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised. So let's get it. Yo, 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 what is up guys? So this is Kicks where we talk talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. Before we get into the video, I just want to say, Thank you guys. Thank you to all my fellow subscribers, my followers. Thank you so much for all the love and support that I have received this year for 2020. All the accomplishments that I was able to achieve, I couldn't have done it myself without you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for all the, the likes, the comments, all the positive feedback, and even all the negative feedback. Thank you so much because from that negative feedback, I was able to grow. Take that into account to make my uh, you know all the kind of uh, content that I create better for you guys. So hopefully in some way in 2020 I was able to you know able to give you some sort of value some sort of entertainment You know something just to enlighten you even just for like you know five minutes throughout the whole year I hope I was able to do that for you guys because you know creating this content has really really made me happy And I hope it kind of makes you guys happy in some some way some form this year so anyway guys just once again a huge thank you and i uh, hope you come and uh, support me in 2021 and uh because i will be needing it because we're going to be ramping things up anyway guys let's get into this video shall we all right so in this video i'm going to be talking about all the sneakers that i copped in 2020 obviously i'll also give you the price range that i got it for so that we can do a counter for how much i spent this year just on sneakers and uh, I've already did the calculation spoiler alert, but uh, it was actually a lot of money well, for me anyway So let's get into this first one for the first cop that I got for this year in 2020 is this beat up pair of So this pair of air mocks the 3.0s as you can see I have beat this to the ground bro just the way this they're supposed to be used as because these are all conditions uh, branded so Nike ACG obviously and um, I still use it to this day especially when I go camping and stuff it's just a great camping sneaker they're easy to slip on because you know you can just put your foot in straight in like that and you can get going it's really really useful and uh, very easy to clean and very very comfortable so it's hard to go wrong with a pair of these I actually considered um, just buying another pair in a different color and I almost forgot already this cost me $220 I bought this from the Nike uh, sneakers uh, website and uh, yeah so next is the Nike react type GTX still a clean sneaker one of my favorites uh, Obviously, because of all these waterproof capabilities, it's fantastic. Looks great. Uh, the blue still kind of put me off in some sort of way because they're kind of it's hard to wear with. But look, at, look, at, it's standard the test of time. It still looks pretty much like when I first like uh, opened the box. Still in great condition. I still use it. I still love it. Um, and yeah, and and super comfortable. I, I got this from the Nike sneakers website as well. I got this for 250 Australian dollars and still a worthy investment. Still looks great. So sleek. Got that uh, kind of streetwear and also techwear look. Another one of my favorites. I got so many favorites in this one because I use them all like heavily. So the next one is the Nike Air Force One React. So this is one of the first ones that came out uh, in the white colorway. Obviously, um, I know I remember the black colorways and the wolf gray colorways came out but this is the one that I really wanted the most because this is, I knew this one this is the one that I was gonna use a lot more and I did so basically you know they're beaters now I still love them even though they have that creasing over there on the toe box I still love them why because they're so comfy because of these because of this that whoa dusty anyway guys so because of that so the Nike React cushioning that goes on the inside of this beautiful shoe. And uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. I still use it today and I'm probably still going to beat it until it's down to the ground where it looks absolutely disgusting because uh, yeah, I still love it. This was only $190. So definitely a worthy investment for me. 
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be biased and say this is my favorite. Yeah, it is my favorite cop of 2020. And uh, yeah, it's already coming up because I'm kind of doing this in like sort of like a timeline kind of version where I, I tell you guys what I bought first from the start of the year to the end of the year. Nike, ACG, Antarctic. These babies go hard. Look at how cool they are. They are fantastic. Uh, they're so comfortable, so versatile. And I always still uh, like um, teach in my videos that this is probably a perfect zombie apocalypse sneaker that you can take <laughs> on the whole world with, uh, you know. If I was gonna be in a video or a movie with, uh, you know, zombies and stuff, I'd have to be wearing a pair of these because I could take on the whole zombie horde with these on because these are coming off your feet. They're waterproof, very fantastic in every way. And once again, it's all conditioned. So all conditions means yeah, zombie apocalypse as well. <laughs> but this cost me $290 and I got this from the guys from Subtype Store. So yeah, definitely check them out. This has got great detailing. It even has 3M on it as well along the uh, midsole area. But yeah, overall, this is my perfect sneaker. Just a little bit hard to put on, but once you get it on, it's all gravy, baby. Oh, so the next one I actually gave away to a friend of mine, Ray J. Uh, if you're watching this, you're welcome, mate. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. Uh, it basically is the Nike Blazer 88 vintage. You can check out the video here. I've uh, you know put it in the cards. Uh, yeah, it's one of my. It's a definitely a very classic, you know, unique you know, multi-purpose sneaker. That's why I really liked it. And it's only like $140. Very, uh, you know, cheap and very easy to wear with a lot of different outfits. That's why I really liked it. Uh, but I haven't used it in a while and like, I'm not the type of person just to have sneakers hoarding in my uh, kind of a uh, place. So I, I don't want to do that. So if I could give away sneakers at certain times, which I always do, especially to my family in the Philippines and stuff, I always give away all my old sneakers that I don't really use because I do have so many. Uh, like, I'm not saying that I have a huge range of uh, sneakers and that kind of stuff. But guys, if you have so many that you're not using, make sure that they always go to some good use. And, uh, you know, like there are so many people out there that aren't as fortunate probably as you. So if you can always help out in some sort of way, definitely do it. Once again, yeah, this is a this is a fire sneaker. It's, it suits so well, like so many different outfits. That's why I liked it. Next one is another great cop. Uh, I'm probably gonna say that uh, this Nike Air Spiridon Cage 2, I didn't show enough love throughout the whole year. I mainly really got this one because I obviously missed out on the Stussy Cage 2s. Um, those were a beautiful sneaker. I'm still considering whether I should get it. Speaking of the Nike Cage uh, 2 Spiridon, uh, you know, it's still a really head-turning sneaker with all the different kind of looks that it has, all the detail, mesh upper, silver, shiny, and look at that cage, that cage around the actual air unit. So unique, so nice, uh, you know, it's very comfortable as well, easy to go running in, and uh, yeah, it's just a, you know, good overall, like, kind of errand shoe, that's why I like. So I got this from the Nike uh, sneakers uh, website. For... $200. So the next sneaker I didn't really buy, but I did want to mention it in this video. It is the customs that I made with uh, Mr. Chase himself, Chase Shield, this off-white vault Gatorade colorway, especially with the, uh, you know, the tongue, the exposed tongue with the tag, and especially the, uh, you know, this exaggerated, um, what do you call it, swoosh. Great sneaker. So the next sneaker is definitely another one that I didn't give much love to throughout the whole year, and it is the Converse Run Star Hike. Uh, this actually got a lot of mixed reviews uh, when I put it up. Um, a lot of uh, different people like this kind of sneaker, especially cause it, you know, it's kind of uh, very stylish in a streetwear kind of, I bought this from the ASOS website for $180. $180, really? With, because I bought like other clothing with it as well. So, but this is still a great sneaker. It's, you know, obviously a Converse sneaker. You can see there, very comfortable as well. Gives you that height that you need. Uh, makes you a little bit taller. Very, yeah. And, and like, you know, I like it because you can wear it with like casual fits or even semi-casual fits. So 
definitely a great sneaker that I'll probably I know I'll be still wearing in the future especially if I go places like Japan that's why I still have it in my collection so all right so the next sneaker I got I uh, want to tell you guys is obviously one another ACG one this is called the Nike ACG AO beautiful sneaker very very versatile uh, if you haven't seen my um, review on these I, I've worn these a lot I took it to, with me to the Grampians fantastic sneaker in and out of the water obviously because of all this very um kind of amphibious features uh it's got in the upper these it's basically a very strong mesh that allows the water to go in and uh, and the midsole you can see there i don't know if you can see it says there drainage around in this area and it actually drains the water from the midsole out uh, very great for those people doing hiking and stuff that go in and out of the water So you don't have to take your sneaker off very comfortable and very very versatile So I'm a huge fan of this sneaker. I got this from subtype store uh, for $210 so very fantastic. I still use to this day. It's got a great colorway So these are one of the sneakers that I've actually bought but haven't done a review on uh, Because yeah, it's kind of late, but I only bought it for the purposes of its color and it is the Nike Gore-Tex Air Force One. Uh, this came out in a variety of colors, especially in the all black. And I think there was like an olive green version as well. But I like this one the most because it's cream and it's also got a gum bot. And uh, these ones I could definitely beat down, obviously, because they're Gore-Tex material. So they, they've got like a waterproof lining on the inside. If you can't see it, that little lining there, that dark bit there, or that goes above the actual insole, that is the Gore-Tex material. So I think that's the thing that makes it Gore-Tex, is just that lining so your socks don't get wet. So this cost me $230. This is sort of like a sneaker that I bought for myself for my birthday, which is coming up in January 5th. Yeah, I just wanted to buy it because I, I, I know that I think, uh, you know, wife is going to be taking me somewhere and I need a new pair of sneakers to do that, if, especially if it's on my birthday. I actually wanted the Air Jordan 4 Off-White Sales as a birthday present, but it is pretty ex expensive. And um, this is sort of like a consolation kind of sneaker that I bought for myself that I still love and I can't wait to actually wear. So another sneaker that I've posted on about are my New Balance uh, cores. These are 5.7 cores, I think. So uh, yeah, these are still pretty much DS. I haven't worn them. Uh, the main reason why I actually did buy these is because of the colorway. It's called Nimbus Cloud, <laughs> of course. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you'll know why I like that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's very comfortable, very cheap as well. This only cost me, it was only $140. I'm pretty sure I got it cheaper than that. I think it was on sale for 100 bucks. I think it was, or even less. But yeah, still a great sneaker. Very, very um, versatile, especially because it's New Balance and, uh, you know, I, I try to change it up every now and again. I don't always want to be wearing Nikes, even though a lot of the stuff that you see me, uh, you know, post uh, online, uh, especially on my social media channels, are Nike. But I do really, really hot, rock heavy with um, New Balance. So another sneaker that I got that I haven't posted about, which I'm still waiting to do, are these. They're actually Li Ning sneakers, and uh, this is the, what they are. If you guys want to see this, um, you know, this, this review on this crazy sneaker, because actually, it's a, actually a weird experience uh, b trying to buy uh, leaning sneakers online. Um, I, I, the only real reason why I bought this is because I, I did see it on go on sale. If you guys don't know, leaning sneakers are actually really, really expensive, especially the new ones that come out. I have no idea why, but some of the sneakers retail Okay, that I've never seen before on any like sneaker socials were like three hundred or four hundred dollars. That's just retail, guys. I don't even know why, but I think yeah, it's because it's like you know, because it's it is a Chinese brand and Chinese people got money, bro. So I don't know if it's, that's got anything to do with it. But this is still a pretty unique sneaker. If you want to see a review on this, please drop. Uh, yeah, comment below and let me know what you think about this one because it is crazy and I got it for a crazy price too. So yeah, definitely hit me up. Okay, so the next sneaker is probably one of my weirdest sneakers for 2020 and it is a Nike Drifter Gators by Ispa or the Ispa kind of uh, branch of Nike. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it before, uh, you can actually remove this um, shroud on top of this uh, sneaker. So it actually creates this whole huge um gator for like your foot which is uh you know it's really unique 
and uh, I gotta say very innovative in some different ways but kind of water repellent upper so if you're running and you don't want your feet to get or you're up to your knee up to below your knee to get wet basically this is a great sneaker very comfortable I have to admit uh, very bright colors and the tech wear vibes in this go absolutely through the roof because as you can see um, like it's a very tech heavy sneaker with all the it's kind of different attributes you can see there look at the midsole look at that that's crazy man this was actually 290 australian dollars i actually was considering like returning these but i actually do like them and this would be a great sneaker to wear back if i ever go back to japan or tokyo this would be a definitely a head turner i'm coming down to the last two cops that i got this year and the next one is obviously the new balance 327s i think new balance it killed it this year no joke especially with the releases that they have this is one of my favorite ones for the year they had some really really great collabs um and models that came out especially in all the they're all gray one of these that i missed out on i'm still salty about because i really really wanted those 150 dollars as well so i only got this for 150 dollars and it's one of my favorites so comfy it's so different as well guys check that out check out the booty on that it's like perfect for driving so when you're driving like you don't have to worry about the back of your seat is getting dirty and that kind of stuff very light very comfortable and uh yeah the price range as well 150 dollars guys and it looks great so shout out to all the guys at new balance for creating this one it's a beautiful piece and i continue to hope that they make more of these ones in the future so the last sneaker that i copped uh that i want to talk about for 2020 is obviously the nike acg mountain flies so this was 290 dollars uh this one like was a very meaningful cop because uh unlike the nike antarctics that i got that was a that was a pretty relatively easy cop but this one i knew a lot of people wanted it and this one was definitely limited I could have got the khaki one or the all black one. This is the one that I wanted to wear the most, obviously, because if I was gonna buy a sneaker, I don't wanna buy it just because it's the first one that came out. I wanna buy the one that actually I will use and that I actually will you know, love the most. And that's why I got this one. And what initially happened was that I did, I got in straight away, I put it in my cart. Uh, and what the stupid thing that I did was I still shopped around. So I had it in my cart, but I looked around because I wanted to buy some t-shirts as well for Nike ACG. And uh, when I did that, um, I, I encountered an error. Oh my, it broke me down. It broke my heart as well. So, because I thought, uh, it, you know, there was nothing that I could do to refresh or anything. It just kept on saying error. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Eventually, I tried to uh, reload it and then it was gone. I didn't have it in my cart anymore. And all my sizes were gone. Because this is a nine and a half and basically the nines and the tens as well. They were there, but they disappeared pretty much as well. So I was left to just ponder, like, oh my gosh, I had it in my car and I lost it. But miraculously, out of nowhere, thank God, that nine and a half, out of all the, like, sold out, uh, what do you call, sizes and stuff, the nine and a half I had probably got reloaded into the website or whatever, and I went back into it and I bought it. And uh, I was just, like, holding my breath, basically, the whole time because... Yeah, you know, I wasn't sure. Maybe it was gonna uh, error out again, and uh, that's why this is a really meaningful cop to me. Especially not just that, but because it's uh, it's such a feature-packed sneaker, just like the Antarctics. But uh, yeah, I gotta give it. Yeah, I like the Antarctics better, but these are definitely like not far behind. These are so nice, and this has React cushioning, guys. It's so comfy. Needs a few days of breaking into, but once you have breaking into it, this is such a great sneaker waterproof it's got the draw system it's got the the nike was next percent fly plate on it and look at all the lugs guys it's so it's so versatile it's so useful and it's a great sneaker all around and this is one of the ones that i'm really really happy with from 2020 so yeah anyway guys that's all the cops that i got and um i'm gonna tell you how much it all cost me so it cost me all those sneakers, uh, it was around $2,780, around give or take. I don't know if some of them are on sale or not. I can't really remember, but that's how much I spent on sneakers. Now, is that something that I do believe is worth it? Is it something that I don't? 
Uh, some sneakers, yeah, they were definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. But some of them I could, probably could have just passed on and uh, just saved that money or invested it into some stocks or you know, cryptocurrency or anything like that. But yeah, you know, that's that's okay. You that's it's it's a learning experience for me as well. This is the most that I've grown uh, in terms of subscribers uh, on my whole YouTube life, on my whole YouTube career. And uh, yeah, I think these definitely sneakers help me to grow in some way, some sense. Always kind of leave it on a positive note, not just uh, you know what you didn't cop or what you what money that you spent that you didn't really get a return from. I don't want to think about it that way because uh, I, I like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't really, really believe that they were going to give me any value in any way. But I would like to know what you guys thought about my collection. What was worth it? What was not worth it? What was your favorite pieces? Uh, what do you think that, which ones did you like the most? That's what I really want to know. Anyway, guys, before I end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys. It really still warms my heart for all you guys. I know 2020 was such a hard year, but a lot of you guys still reached out to me, said hi, just started conversations, all that kind of stuff. That still warms my heart, especially when you guys know me off the street. Oh, hey, you're Kickexplore, what's up? Oh my gosh, bro. Like my head goes this big every time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that guy know me, man. Like he knew me, he knew me. Like that's all I'll be thinking probably for the end of the day. I'll be like, oh, that guy. That guy said hi to me. He he recognized me. <laughs> I'm not even lying, guys. It really, really, yeah, it really makes me happy when you guys uh, come say hi, even just start a conversation. Uh, it, it really brings joy to my heart, especially when we talk about sneakers and stuff. So once again, a huge shout out to you guys that have shown love to the channel. Uh, you know, thank you so much for subscribing. And I hope 2021 will be a way, way better year than what we had in 2020. Like, so let's get it guys. So let's get it and crush 2021. Anyway guys, a happy new year guys. And I hope all the best for you guys in the following year, the years to come. I hope you guys smash it. I hope you guys kill it in terms of accomplishment. I wish all the best for you guys. And once again, I thank you for all the, you know, all the, the positive things I've received from you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for watching this video till the end. You guys are the real ones. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys in the next year. Happy New Year. Peace.